NoTouch has a built-in screen shadowing mechanism. It works using HTML5, so that means you can shadow desktops right from your browser without any third-party software, and it uses secure tunneling mechanisms to go through firewalls without any security issue. So let me demonstrate how this works. I'm logged in here to NoTouch Center. I see my clients. There is one specific client that I'm focusing on. You can actually see it here in the background. It's my client here. What is notable though is that I am connected to a cloud instance. So these are not in the same network. They are only on the same screen, but definitely not on the same network. This is a browser that goes to a cloud instance that's somewhere out in the internet. Now let's just see what happens if I click this icon. So this is perfectly fine. It's giving me a warning that the certificate is not okay. Why is this? Because I didn't install a certificate on my client, right? So this is perfectly fine. It's telling me who wants to shadow your desktop, believe it or not. This is the account I'm logged in. J Donner. As the end user, I have the ability to say yes or no. In my case, I say yes. And here we are. This is the browser window. I'm using Microsoft Edge for demonstration purposes. And I can now remote control See the mouse pointer. I can now remote control the end point. So as if this was not enough, what is also possible is I can go directly to this end point. And let me show you how that works. Because I, I happen to have my, my laptop, my MacBook in the same network as this machine. So I just go there directly, I click on this menu item here that says shadow and a similar thing is, is happening. See what's now funny is I'm, I'm getting this confirmation message here and here. This is the original screen. This is where already this administrator via NoTouch Sender is logged in. And see, it's, it's even telling me an administrator from, from a specific IP address wants to, to shadow the desktop. I, I say yes. And here we have another shadowing session. And whatever I do, it works now in all three sessions. So that means multiple people can initiate the shadowing on the same desktop at the same time. So that's good for demonstration, for remote support, when you get multiple people to support someone. It's extremely flexible and again, it's secure. It uh, uses secure tunneling mechanisms with state-of-the-art encryption, SSL, TLS, uh, HTTPS, and uh, from the client to NoTouch Center into the cloud, we even use a secure shell tunneling mechanism what you have seen, cutting the longer story short, is that it works both ways. It works directly to an endpoint. I can log in to an endpoint using my browser, initiate the shadowing. I see the window right here, HTML5 based in my browser. But most people won't do that. In fact, many people actually disable the web-based client login why? Because they are using NoTouch Center or management software and with the management software it's perfectly fine that they can simply click on, on something on, on this icon, you click on it and you get there so you don't even need to log in specifically. And all these logins are using secure one-time passwords so this is really a very very well thought out solution and still very easy very easy to use.